Hello, I'm Tom Feldman, and welcome to this lesson on the slide guitar of the great Tampa Red. In this series of lessons, we're going to go through a handful of songs that Tampa Red recorded in the 1920s and the 1930s. All of the songs we're covering are going to be done out of Vastapool tuning. Really, all the songs that Tampa Red recorded with a slide are done out of Vastapool tuning. The keys vary, though. You'll see them as low as C, as high as F sharp. But even though the keys vary, the tuning, the intervals the strings are tuned to are the same. And what I mean by that is your sixth, your fourth, and your first string are the same. So in our purposes for this series of lessons is going to be D. We're going to be in open D tuning. Six, four, one are D. Five and two need to be the same, and they're A. A, A. Now our third string is going to go down a half step to F sharp. All right, the first song that I want to work through is called Things About Coming My Way, so let's get started. All right, that was a little bit of things about coming my way. And this is a great first song to look at when we're talking about Tampa Red style because all of the pieces are here. We're gonna need to know a couple different chords. We've got our G, and as opposed from barring at the fifth fret, which would be our G, our four chord, we're gonna make it down here. So strings five and two at the second fret, then our third string at the first fret and we're going to strum five through one. That's G. Now the great thing about this fingering is if you just drop five and two to four and one, fifth string open, that's your A, which is your five chord. So you've got your one, four, five all contained right there. We're also going to need to this G drop it down a half a step as well. And those are all the chord changes that we're going to need to know for this song. We're just basically sliding on the first string, although we're going to do some minor things with the second string. And I'm going to play through the whole piece very slowly, which is where the tablature is going to come from. But I want to talk a little bit about the bass, because that's really the trickiest element to this piece. The slide is going to go. Check out that bass. When I'm after each phrase, you're gonna do a six four five four or six four six four. Those are our two choices when we're in the D section. Six four five four or six four six four. And the way that's gonna go 
when we're sliding, there's the end of that phrase where that's gonna go. But before we get there, just doing the four, five, seven part, I'm just doing a single string, six string bass, a monotonic bass. tricky because we're not even though we're dropping that chord on a half uh, half step we're taking our second uh, string off so it's open to go but our fifth string is still the bass this lick after every verse there's going to be a different lick fifth fret, fourth open to our third string first fret open to that open D back to the A so now the ending is very very interesting after we go to the G and just pick that first string second fret slide to the fourth fret on that first string and now you have a couple choices you want to go we're going to do pinch pluck the note and pull off three two open or you can go slide from three to two and pull off either way you want to end in that pull off And then we're going to end here with strings 5 and 2 at the 3rd fret. As I mentioned, after every verse there's going to be a different lick. And you'll see in the tablature, I'm going to play through the piece four times to give you four different variations as how the verse is made up as far as us following the melody line. And then you're going to see lick variations. And you're going to see all of the ones that I'm going to be performing. And I'm also going to throw in a couple other additional ones as well. And don't feel like you have to be married to these licks that were done by Tampa Red, which obviously are amazing. But I think more importantly, feel free to invent your own and be creative in those moments. Because the, the melody line is the melody line. You can't mess with that. There's a few things you can do as far as the style and the emotion behind it, meaning you can pick all the notes. <laughs> you can slide into some notes and not pick all of them. Which gives it a little bit different flavor. And then of course your vibrato. Everyone's vibrato is a little bit different and I'm not going to get into a long discussion of how to produce vibrato here. Just keep in mind that you're not in any hurry. Okay, this is doesn't matter if you're playing the song fast or slow or not. Don't be in such a rush that your your vibrato is not pleasant to the ear. Okay, make it a little bit loose, and again, you're not in any hurry. Okay, so now I'm gonna play through the whole thing four times through, which will give you many different verse options as well as many different lick options. Here we go. <laughs> 